In the next 90 seconds, I'm going to help you decide how wide your stance should be. Okay? In the past, it's always been determined by the width of your shoulders, which biomechanically doesn't make a whole lot of sense because your feet are attached to your hips. So we're going to base it off the width of your hips. So when you set up to it, if you draw a line straight down from the outside of each leg, it should dissect the middle of your foot. That's how you determine the width of your stance. Okay, the only time this changes is with your driver. You can get just a little bit wider with your driver, okay, but not too much wider. And then with your irons, you're going to go back to checking it off of the basis of your hips. Okay, it might feel narrow for a lot of folks because we've been used to trying to base it off of our, the width of our shoulders. And I can tell you my shoulders are a lot wider than what my hips are, so it makes sense to base it off of my hips. Okay? The reason we want you to base it off the hips because if your stance is too wide, it makes it hard for you to transfer your weight. If your stance is too narrow, you tend to kind of sway your hips. We don't want you to sway your hips. We want you to make sure you turn into your hip socket. And we want to make sure that you're, it's easy for you to transfer your weight to your front foot. So the next time you go to the range, check the width of your feet. All right, it's going to make a big difference on your ability to transfer your weight and for you to naturally turn your hips.